In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create quiz questions using AI right inside Google Forms. So I have this PDF, um, which I want to create quiz questions from for. So for this, I will be using magic form application. So you, all you need to do is just visit magic, oops, magic form dot app and just hit enter. Once you will visit this website, you just have to scroll down a little bit and you will come to this get started in three simple steps section. There you can see we just have to install the application, open the application, enter the info by slide info. It's supposed to be text information, whatever you want to provide. Here we are providing PDF, um, but they offer variety of options like text, YouTube videos, PDF docs file. So yeah, just provide the information in the quiz. Uh, quiz questions will be generated. So yeah, let's start. First, we will install magic form application. So I'm going to visit this website. Uh, I'm going to click on install. I'm going to reduce the size a little bit. Choose my Gmail account. Click on continue. Uh, these are the different uh, permissions. So the first permission is view and manage for um, the Google Forms where this application has been installed in. By this, it means that the add-on will only have access to the Google Forms where you will launch this add-on. Uh, what does it mean to launch an add-on? Um, in this second video, you can see to open an add-on, you have to uh, open a Google Form and then you will see this puzzle icon. Once you will click on the puzzle icon, you will be able to launch the Magic Form application. So until and unless you have launched um, the Magic Form application, the Magic Form application will not have access to your Google Forms. All this is to say that just because you're installing this application doesn't mean it has access to all your Google Forms. The second permission it asks for is to connect to an external service. This is required so that the um, application can talk to the AI and then get you the results. The third permission is about displaying a third party web content, which is basically this. So the pop up, which opens up in the bottom of the page, that is the web content and prompts in the sidebar in the Google application. Okay, so nothing too scary <laughs> or the application is not trying to just grab your data. It's basically there um, for the required permission asking only. Okay, once the installation step is done, the second step is to open a new Google form. If you will click on this button, it will automatically create a new form for you. And if you are thinking, how does it do that? Well, basically um, Google owns this form.new domain and whenever you visit form.new, um, you can create a new Google form. Maybe something new you learned today. Okay, so you see in this video, uh, basically what we need to do is we need to open a new tab, types forms.new and then it will create a new form. Okay, we have done so far. Then if you click on the puzzle icon, you can click on magic form and then you can choose the option you want. So I'm going to click on the puzzle icon. I'm going to click on magic form app and then I'm going to click on PDF option. So once I will click on that, uh, I will have this page uh, where I can take this URL. So we have two options here. You can either paste this URL or you can download this PDF file and then upload it here. I'm going to just grab the URL. I don't want to save the PDF to my local device first. So once I will put that in, it will, the first step it will do is to fetch the text content from that PDF. So this is all the text content it got. Uh, now I want to generate, let's say five quiz questions from this particular PDF. I'm going to keep that selected. If you want to choose a particular language, you can choose it here. Uh, I would just want in English. So I'm just going to keep it like that. Once you click on generate, it's going to start the process. The process is all about taking that whole text, providing that to the AI and asking the AI to give the quiz question. And once the AI gives the quiz questions, they are going to just add, be added like right swipe in. So you see thermodynamics question, you see system, what is an open system? What is an intensive properties in thermodynamics? You can kind of click on generate again if you want to generate more, or you can always give this a particular number, which uh, the amount of quiz questions you want to create. There are multiple options. You can create a true false question. You can create MCQ questions. So I have created a qu uh, the MCQ question so far, but I also want a true false question. So I'm just going to select that and click on generate. And you see, we have true false questions. Maybe you're creating a test, which is like a long form test where you want people to be answering a long form questions. In that case, you can choose the paragraph option at the top and it will generate the paragraph based question. So you can see here what is thermodynamics. So this is a long form questions. So I hope you like the application. And if you do make sure to check it out, just visit magicform.application. Dot app. And if you have any feedback, make sure to comment that down below.
Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. By the way, I'll be posting a lot more videos about how to use Magic Form application and how it can help you do stuff. Okay, see you in the next one.